And my guest is Laura Brown from Intro Tweet. Hello, Laura. How are you? Hello, I'm okay. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to Tone FM. Tell me what Intro Tweet do. Okay, Clearly, so it's got social media written all over it. It sure has, yeah. <laughs> um, so Intertweet is a social media management and training company, basically based in the Crescent in Taunton. Okay, how long has that been running? Just over four years now, actually. So yeah, time flies. So basically what you do is you manage social media for businesses and because tweeting or doing Facebook posts or Instagram or whatever... Mm-hmm. Is actually very time consuming. Exactly. And over the last sort of five years, the whole social media platform thing has changed everything yeah. in so many ways. So um, what would you what would you do as part of so if I was a business and I came yeah. to you and say, right, I want you to manage me yeah. and my social media, what would you do for me? How would you do it? So first of all, we'd ask you sort of why and we'd ask you what your social media aim is so we know sort of which platforms you should be on. And basically we create all of your content for you and do all your posts and tweeting and we're the voice of you basically. Mm. Um, and doing all the engagement for you. It's funny because over the years gone by, that would generally be a traditional role for um, a marketing manager, for example, Mm. at a company. But things have changed so much now, it's actually become a huge role in itself, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a full-time job. Mm. As you said, it's not rocket science, really, but time is what we're giving back to business owners. That's the thing. That's the key. I do a lot of social media for some of my own personal projects, Mm -hmm. um, and I do blog posts and things, because particularly with the website that I do, Mm -hmm. blog posts actually brings in a lot of work. Exactly. Okay. And that's brings a lot of traffic. Just but to to... writing a blog post is a very time-consuming yeah. job. Yeah, exactly. And actually writing a 140-character tweet and actually editing exa- it so exactly. it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It takes a long time to write something so short. Because 140 it's characters funny. is not a lot. It is, And when no. you want to cram loads of information in, yeah. is there's a real art to work in the words and phrases exactly. you're going to use, yeah. isn't there? And Twitter has just updated. Some people have 280 characters now. Oh! So that's causing a bit of yeah, a drama. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Um, we don't, actually. But what, how, how would you get 280? Do you have to pay for it? No, it's just given to select accounts. So some celebrities, oh, really? yeah, a local networking group um, have got it sort of randomly really? here in Taunton. But it does look a bit waffly and wordy, we think. See, I'm, I'm but, a big fan. And one of the big phrases they use in radio that I've been taught over the years is less is more. Yeah. You know, one thought, one link. Don't put yeah. too much information in that little link yeah. that you're yeah. going to be talking about. Yeah. Does and that we make think sense? People who love Twitter hate this change because they like it short and sweet. People who don't use Twitter a lot love it because mm. they think, oh, I can write loads and it'll be great. Yeah. But that almost defeats the point of Twitter, we think. Do you find that your clients get a lot of work off Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, we get lots of work from Twitter and our clients do because it's really easy to target people. You can talk to exactly mm. the kind of people you want to be speaking to. And how would you compare it with Facebook then? Um, Facebook is still the top dog in social media and it always will be Mm. in terms of money and in terms of features but Twitter's just short and sweet and it's Mm. instant so if you're not very patient you like sort of success quick Twitter is where you should be oh right okay what sort of money does it cost what do you charge for example then if somebody come to you yeah it starts at £125 per month um, and then it goes up depending on the sort of intensity of the service and how many platforms we manage right okay so I know it's a bit of a cliche but we do have a range for sort Mm -hmm. of all types of businesses well you need really. to be you need to be adaptable exactly. don't you because you've got small businesses in town that really want to do well but don't yeah. have the time or the resource to do it yeah. um and then you get the bigger ones that, exactly. that, that can sort of do it all exactly um and, and money is king yeah at the end of the day yeah so uh you also won a taunton dean business award yeah we which did. was back in june wasn't yeah. it that was a good night wasn't it it was a brilliant night yeah <laughs> did you get drunk club um no I don't we didn't actually we we're quite well behaved we went to the cozy club really? after for a couple oh, of cocktails right, okay. sort of, well, i think they were trying it? to lock us out at the end which but... which award was it you won again um digital innovation that was it digital innovation yeah so that was sort of i think that was one of the new awards this it year was, was yeah so... and we sort of saw the category and thought actually this sounds perfect mm. for our business so yeah, we took a lot of time writing our entry and making it. I'm sure good Pam and Knight, um, who sets this all up, she'll be listening to this anyway. Yeah, that's it. Um, tell us about the positives of winning that award for you, particularly yeah. in our area. Yeah, brand awareness, really. And for us, we only moved to Taunton about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, so it's great. We really feel part of the Taunton community. Oh, where are you from then? Uh, well, we, we've had a bit of a. Um, Bumpy, we were both teachers. Oh, um, okay. So we left teaching and then we lived in Mudford, a village outside of Yeovil. Oh, so we lived yeah, in Martock yeah. and we were always travelling to Taunton yeah. for work or for the M5. 
Um, so we thought we'll kind of move to Taunton because there's a great business scene. And so it's really great to feel sort of accepted into great. the community. Great. We've done really. very so, well in a short space of time. Yeah, so so it's credit, credit to you. Um, the big thing I want to talk to you about is um, this job they've just taken on in Monaco, which is yeah. very exciting. Tell us about this. Yeah, very exciting. Um, we've just done some a social media workshop with a company called Burgess Yachts. So they're um, the global leader in the super yacht world. So we just sort of casually got an inquiry. Would you travel to Monaco? Uh, All no, expenses uh, yeah, let, paid. Let me think about that. Yeah, um, I've so thought, yeah. yes, I'll be yeah. on my way tomorrow. So obviously we said yes straight away. Um, we'd done some training with some of their London office before. So they went back sort of sharing great feedback about us. So he inquired sort of with our workbook in hand and knew what we were about. Um, so we travelled, it was on the 21st of September. Um, we did a full day sort of bespoke social media workshop for them and we've had brilliant feedback. Not on a boat, no. <laughs> someone else said that to me, actually. I thought, well, I next you, time. You instantly to. think that that would be the place to do it. Yeah, it was in a beautiful hotel yeah. in Monaco. Yeah, well, it's bound to be, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you sort of forgot you were in Monaco yeah. doing the training. Then you looked out the window and thought, oh, yes, this is a slightly nicer setting than some of well, our other workshops. This is great. This is clearly a, uh, a door that will be opening for bigger things to come for you. We hope so, yeah. Mm. We have worked with some sort of multinational businesses before who have offices abroad um, and we always say really if someone wants a social media workshop we will travel and this is sort of proven that we will <laughs> oh, yeah. actually go anywhere well let's be honest who wouldn't travel exactly you know? so yeah by the way if anybody wants to do an outside broadcast in monaco at any point and you want us to go there then of course we'll go there and <laughs> yeah, do that we, for you we had lots of offers actually I'm to sure carry you, our suitcase yeah, i'm sure you did yeah oh, and things oh, it's still like very that. exciting yeah. so how do you move forward with a business like this then what's because social media stuff changes on a daily basis doesn't yeah. it and you have to be on top of it yeah yes yeah. So that's something we're very um, good at. We make sure we stay up to date. And obviously, because we're on social media all the time, all the social media changes are often trending on Twitter and mm -hmm. Facebook straight away. Um, but also, we're going to be putting all of our training and workshops online um, because this is where it's sort of starting to go. People like to be able to do it from the comfort, comfort of their own home yeah. and things like that. So that's where we're moving. But um, our workshops and training have taken on a sort of higher significance. So there's a slightly different trend now. Instead of people wanting us to manage as much, um, people want us to train them so yeah. they can do it successfully themselves. Excellent. So it's a it sort of 50-50 split. Yeah, really. yeah, it sounds very, very positive and I yeah. uh, wish you all the very best with it. Thank you very Could much. do with somebody like you around this place, to be honest. Yeah, well, we're in the Crescent, so we can pop in. Yeah, live live good tweeting. idea. I might bite your hand off yeah. of that one. Excellent. <laughs> um, if you want more details about Intro Treat, how they work and all the rest of it, obviously they're going to be on Twitter, goes without yeah. saying. Website, what's the details of that? Just introtweet.com. Intro tweet. Nice and simple, dead easy. Yeah. My guest is Laura Brown from Intro